And now, an important moment about our political conventions. Good evening. I'm Sam Waterston. This is a monumentally important time in American history, which is why tonight we are here at the National Hall of Importance, where we enshrine the most important events in our nation's history, the signing of the Declaration of Independence, the moon landing, the first planking. Thank you for your service. Tonight, we take an important look at the Democratic and Republican National Convention, a time for people to come together and celebrate the best in democracy. But many forget their shocking dark side. The 2000 Democratic National Convention in Los Angeles began as a peaceful affair, but ended in tragedy when Al Gore, starving and delirious from nonstop campaigning, took the stage and attempted to eat his wife's face. <laughs> Truly an inconvenient smooch. And who can forget the Chicago 1968 Democratic Convention when mass panic erupted after a Kentucky delegate knocked over a beehive, swarming the streets with enraged bees. No matter how hard the police tried to knock the bees off the citizens, it didn't seem to help. Of course, the 1924 Republican Convention was the first to be broadcast on radio. The new technology incited mass hysteria when Americans heard Calvin Coolidge's voice and assumed he was a ghost trapped in their walls. It is inescapable chaos and uncertainty such as this that once made Benjamin Franklin remark, if being president means going to a convention, I'd rather be struck by lightning. Hang on, that gives me an idea. From the National Hall of Importance, I remain Sam Waterston. Stephen? Thank you, Sam. We'll be right back.